That has another letter. What? What is it? What are you? What is the city council doing here? I, and are you like important? No. <laughs> Get lost, will you, Eddie? What, what do you? What, 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 tell me what you want. First of all, I just wanted to say I started watching Star Trek in 1965 when I was eight years old. And today I have a PhD in computer science. I work at Duke University. In addition to being on city council. And I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for the inspiration over the years. You made a big well, thank you. Now, now, that's great. Now, that's an audience reaction, led by Eddie. Okay, go ahead, Eddie. If I have no questions. What's your name? Eddie. What's your name? Eddie. I'm surrounded by Eddie. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you and welcome you to the Well, I appreciate that. No, no, wait, wait, go, 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 go. Okay. What? What did you say? I said, okay. Okay. Why are you here? Do you have a question? I have no questions, sir. Well, no, they can't, you can't, I'm sorry. Head of the city council questions, you know, why aren't the streets cleaner and all that kind of thing, right? Right. Why aren't the streets cleaner, by the way? <laughs> what? What? Don't get me started. No, wait, wait. <laughs> I want you to start on Star Trek. That's why we're here. Okay. We're here. So, so after all those years of Star Trek, do you have a question or something? So my question, if that, I, I do have a, a good, question. That's a good starting phrase. I do have a question. When you went to space just recently. When I went to space just recently. Yes. Nobody back there cares. Go ahead. And you looked up at the night sky. Yes. And you saw the stars. See, already you're wrong. There were no stars. That was what was startling. I looked up into the sky. It was black. That was my question. I was wondering exactly what you saw. Well. I don't know why this, why there was this palpable blackness that should have been filled with constellations. I mean, I, I presume we are all kind of interested in space and the magic of space and the Webb telescope. What's going to tell us? And what the, what's, you know, what they're going to, they're taking pictures now further than ever they've ever done. You know what they're seeing? More stars and more. I mean, it's like getting to the top of uh, Mount Everest. And take a picture. What are you taking a picture of? More peaks. Oh my God, I gotta climb all those peaks. The Webb telescope is going to tell us more about the, the mysteries of space. But it's only gonna evoke more mysteries because space is so gigantic and so filled with what Einstein called spooky. It's spooky out there. 